Hi guys, Jordan O'Neill here, uh, Wheelcastle Dagger Uh So I was doing a short video yesterday uh, on rolling the ceiling on this job. And I happened to mention that the customer asked me to do uh, a bit of furniture, uh, hand painted. It's going brilliant weight. So um, basically what I'm doing is uh, I'm putting the first coat of primer on the furniture. You can see it behind me here. And uh, I'm doing the drawers actually on a pacing table. Thanks to one of you painters out there that uh, I was doing a wee while ago. I was doing the mad line and paper down. And the guy said, uh, forget who it was. But anyway, whoever it was appreciated. He said, why don't you do them on a pacing table? And uh, so my roller tray sitting there, my brushes are sitting there. The three wee drawers here at the minute are on the table. Uh, ready to paint and it, honestly really really handy you know uh, and then the, when I get all the drawers done there's a really few of them to do uh, I'll actually do the, the main pile of furniture uh, so what I'm using is uh, I'll just get this tin here and uh, the primer I'm using as you know I'm a big fan of colour trim and I'm a big fan of this oil based one here which is uh, Color Trend Prime 3, as I say, it's an oil based. Uh, very, very smooth going on. Fumes aren't that strong, uh, plenty of working time with it. And uh, when it dries, it really does bond to the surface, you know. And, you know, so like any, any furniture you're doing, you know, um, obviously I just give it a wee clean down. I use a, a degreaser called SEP. You get in screw fix. It's just a wee spray, you know, and you just, Give, give a wee spray of the surface, clean off any uh, grease marks or anything. Then uh, give it a wee light sand, the surface, for, for a key for the primer. Again, you don't have to go mad, just a wee light sand with a fine pad or a fine piece of sandpaper. And dust it down for the primer. And I'm doing these here brilliant white. And um, basically, uh, I'm using oil based satin crown satin on these ones and um, you know, there's a wee bit of detail on these here as you can see you, you know um, they are, it's, it's up, up wood, solid and you know uh, I, I told the, the customer you know um, he it's for his daughter's room you know and uh, you know he, I'm staring at him having a bed with the furniture you know um, you can't do a nice job on this here so it basically gets one primer, a wee light sand between coats and it'll get two finished coats of crown satin. And I always mention, well I've mentioned this a few times, even in this primer here I have a, a drop of oatral oil in, in, in the primer. It does help the flow of the paint, gives it a nice smooth finish, it definitely does make a big difference. It is a paint conditioner and so I put, I've got it in the primer and I'll also put it in the white satin as well. So if you really want to do a nice finish, um, I would suggest putting a paint conditioner into the white satin. Um, and also between coats, you know, again, just when I'm putting the first coat of satin on, a light sand, give the primer a light sand, dust it down and get a tack cloth and wipe off the fine dust before you put your first coat on. So I've got these three drawers sitting here. And, you know, again, it's pretty simple. All I'm doing in this furniture is I'm not doing any insides. I'm doing the four edges and the front. And it's the same with the, the main part of the furniture, you know. Two sides, top, and the wee edges at the front. And, uh, and that's basically it, you know. I'm not um, doing insides or anything, so uh, it does make it a wee bit easier. Um, so, as I say, I'm set up. I've been placing the table up here. The other thing is, I think there's four or five different pieces of furniture here and there's all different drawers. has come off them, these drawers here, okay. So you can see on the inside there, um, I have a bit of masking tape on each one. So, uh, very, very important to mark, uh, to, to put the drawer in the exact position. Because see that all this handmade furniture, I, I, each one is slightly different and even the wee handles. Um, fancy, I think he's talking about getting new V handles, but I'm going to put these V handles back on again. Um, but again, 
even each screw could be slightly uh, longer or shorter in each drawer. So make sure you put the same handle back on and make sure you put the drawer back in the exact place where it came out. And that's the reason why you need to mark each one and um, where it came out, you know. So very important to do that. Um, that's basically it. And I'll, I'll just do a wee, uh, put a wee coat of primer next here for you. Um, let you see how easy it is, how easy it goes on. And it's quite simple. So I'll just pop that down there like so. Um, we'll start this one here. Okay. Oh, look, this is a wee uh, medium pound roller. It's one of these rollers, uh, they're, they're excellent. Uh, I think Prodac may be sweet ones. Um, this is a new one. Uh, when you first uh, break one of these wee rollers in, the first, you only use it uh, a few dips, you get the other wee bit coming off it, just pick it out of your hand and then that's it, you know, nothing comes off it after that. So, we dip your roller. They, they honestly need very, very easy and very quick to do this here. Because of the wee uh, pattern in here, you need to get the roller deep in, into it. Uh, so, just give it a wee roll. So, right into the, the detail in, uh, on the draw there. And one dip of the roller actually does this. Okay. Just like that. Then get your re-roller and do the wee edges. Do four edges here, okay. It's a top one, two sides. And you want it the back here. This is the bottom one. There you go. And, and that's basically it. There's, there's nothing to it. That's, you know. Uh, I have two brushes here. I'm using these wee ice fusion brushes. We inch one. And basically, uh, just slightly take out the roller marks on the edges. Do those first. Make sure there's no wee uh, bits of paint on the corners. The four edges are like so. And then just follow the grain in the way. That's the other secret I will say. Whatever way the grain is going, uh, you let off, uh, you know, following the grain. The grain is just basically going one way. Even these wee sections here, it's, it's going this way. So. Okay, just get that, it's a wee inch and a half brush, very, very light, just lay it off. And as soon as you do that, just check the wee edges there, make sure there's nothing, no wee runners coming down, just get them on a wee bit well there, like so. Basically, it. Nothing to it. You know, as I say, before you do these, as long as they're properly, as long as they're cleaned down, a wee light sand for a key, take all the wee handles off, mark them, you know, which drawer goes where, and that's basically it. Um, so I'll just show you um, the rest of the furniture here. Just take this off. So there you go there. There's that wee one there, Prime. Two to go there. And at the back there, you can see there's two bigger ones there, three in the corner. And I'll go around here uh, in this room. By the way, this house is completely empty. The customer just bought it. And it's great that I've got a bit of space here. There's four drawers in here. I'm going to take those off that and bring them into my pacing table to do those four. And here's the furniture in here. So basically, you have two wee side lockers here. You have a wee piece of furniture there. You have one there. Another three wee drawers in the corner. Then you have the wardrobe. Again, uh, have the doors taken off. Uh, they're sitting downstairs. I'll bring those up and do those as well. Uh, so you can see there's a wee, wee bit here, but I have to get this all primed today. Uh, as I said, to get three coats. You just see those wee edges are, that's one of the reasons why he wanted to do this furniture as well. See the way the uh, varnish and lacquer's just coming off that. 
Okay, and as long as that's all taken, you sand that down, there's nothing loose there before the primer goes on. Uh, there you go. So, say one, two, three, four, five. You have five wee pieces of furniture there. So there's a really wee bit in it, you know, when you're from cleaning it down, a light sand and three coats. So get all primed today. Uh, I'll be back on Monday. Uh, I'll be back on Monday to... Uh, Put the first coat of satin on and then um tuesday to put the finished coat on so again um might do a wee video on the first coat of satin uh if you would like me to um after it's all primed and maybe on monday but any more questions you just need, need to know about hand painting furniture what primer to use what paint to use or you know by all means send me a message okay thanks now bye